Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the condenser fan motor on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, you will need access to the back of the refrigerator. So the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. And we'll also want to shut off any inlet water supply. And we'll pull the refrigerator far enough forward that you can get good access to the back. Now that we have access to the back of the refrigerator, our next step is to remove this access panel. It's normally held in place with quarter inch hex head screws. On these models, you can leave the access panel where the inlet water line is attached and just take off the main panel. Next, we'll pull that power cord clamp up out of the opening on that back panel. We'll just take that out of the way and then we'll set the back panel aside. Now I have access to that condenser fan motor. The easiest way to replace this is to remove the three mounting screws that secure that motor to the mounting brackets. Then pull the whole motor and fan blade away from the assembly, reinstall a fan blade on the new motor, and then set the motor back in place. So we'll begin by removing the wire harness connector. There is a single locking tab on the bottom side of that connector that you may be able to depress with your fingers. If not, just use a small flat blade screwdriver. And then pop that harness off. Now next, we'll remove those three screws. And then just pivot that motor and fan blade assembly away from the refrigerator. We'll next remove the old fan blade Grasp the hub of it and just pull it straight off. We can then discard the old motor. And while we have that fan assembly out of there, it's a good opportunity to vacuum the rest of your condenser, which is located in behind there. You need to keep that as clean as possible. And we'll also clean up that fan blade. So take our new condenser fan motor. We'll install that fan blade onto the shaft, press it down until it bottoms out, and then we'll tuck it into the opening. And we'll begin by installing one of the screws. So just install the screws loosely to begin with until we have all three support arms installed. Now once we have all three screws started, we can tighten them up. Make sure we have lots of clearance for that fan blade. We'll then reconnect that wire harness, making sure that that locking tab on the bottom engages. And now we can put the access panel back on. Now when installing that access panel, the first thing we'll need to do is to make sure that the cord restraint fits into that opening on the top. Press it all the way down into place. And tuck the bottom edge of that access panel in behind the frame of the refrigerator. then just install the retaining screws. Now on the left side of that access panel, we need to make sure that we engage that bracket in behind.
And now we're ready to push the refrigerator back into place. We're now ready to turn on the inlet water supply, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.